Hello friends, uh, today I am going to teach you how to make this inventory management system for your shops or for your office. Okay, it's very easy. Okay, so add new record here 1001. Okay, and let me say it here. Okay, and you can add number and email okay gmail.com okay you can add cash okay and you also can address g uh, okay so save okay it's six successfully okay save it okay and the next is uh, how to update this record okay so you can see here okay I am gonna add one zero zero one two let me say yeah this should be my okay and this should be four four five five six six okay and this only one thousand okay and here i'm going to change something okay the nine park asb okay and you can update here okay and now you can see here your record updated successfully okay here one zero zero one two okay money and here phone number okay cash and address is changed let's add one more record here okay one zero zero three okay and the hour okay one two three 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 two one four okay and here and qq.com cash here you can enter cash okay address is blah 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 okay and then save okay okay and the next one is uh, how to delete anything you can delete here okay you can delete anything here okay and before i delete something uh, you can see here next okay and previous button it's working very well okay next and previous okay so now uh, if you want to delete some record here okay so you just click on delete button here okay and your record deleted successfully okay that's it hello friends today i'm going to teach you how to create an inventory management system so how to add how to update how to delete that first we are going to create a folder here okay and that is inventory okay system that's it okay and the next uh, I'm gonna copy folder here that we use some icon later okay there are some pictures which we use for button okay so now we are going to start I am using a virtual studio 2017 so let's start 
create new project. Okay, and then go to virtual basic. Okay, and then just click on window form application. Okay, and then you can write here name of your system inventory okay and then you can give a position location where you want to save your project okay and here is our folder we can choose this one and then select folder that's it okay and then click on ok okay this is window form application okay so now first uh, we are going to create one database okay so let's go to inventory and then choose add new atom okay new atom and then you just write here sql okay and here is service based service based database okay and just give a name here that is in when tree underscore db okay and then add just click on add okay and here is our database okay inventory db mdf5 okay so you can click double click on database okay and here you can see tables so first click on table and add new table okay and here you can give a id okay you can leave as it and the next we are going to write a name okay name okay and uh, the next one is phone next one e email email and the next one is cash okay and the next one is address okay so now we are going to give all here watcher Okay. Okay, we give our same value. Watcher, 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 and watcher. That's it. And now one. Okay. Our database. Our table name is a table one okay and then just click on update update database okay so you can see here that is update so if I go back to here and you can just refresh you can see here database which we created 
Okay. That's it. Now we go here and we connect our database with our inventory system. Okay, add your database here. Okay, and then next. Okay, data set. Okay, so here we can choose our database. You can see here inventory db mdf file okay and then we go to the next one okay okay next okay so here you can see your table is here okay so we just click on table and view okay and finish okay you can see here our database connection is successfully here okay these are our table fields okay so now what we are going to do that here and find a panel here okay panel okay and then we go to the property and we dock dock to the top okay we give a border here first 3d okay and then okay here is a duck and then we need on the top we just click on here okay and now we are going to give a color okay any color you can choose here okay and you also can move from top to bottom okay and now I need a label label here okay this label we give a font size there is font here okay font bold okay and about 14 size okay that's it and we also gonna give a font color which is black to white or we can choose another color okay this color okay this label and i'm gonna change this text from property okay here is the text i'm gonna change this text to in one tree marriage system okay okay inventory management system okay 
we change a font here I'm gonna give uh, another font let's see Okay, and I'm gonna give a size a little bigger. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to this table, okay, and just click on detail button, okay, and then just drag from here to your farm, okay. Okay guys, in the next video I'm going to uh, teach you, okay, and uh, how to add and how to update, okay, uh, because this video is going to be a little longer, so next video I'm going to, please stay with us.